Good afternoon, Santa Rosa Academy families. I'm Michelle Aguilar, Director of Education Services, and I wanted to share some important information regarding the state testing coming up in the this spring. Testing, commonly known as SBAC, is part of the California Assessment for Student Progress and Performance. Students all across California in third through eighth grade and 11th grade will participate in the end of the year assessments in math and English language arts. 5th, 8th, 11th, and 12th grade students will participate in an end-of-the-year science assessment as well. These assessments are comprised of multiple choice, short answer, matching, and some performance activities. They are very similar to the STAR assessments that the students have been taking this year. The state has made some changes in the assessments due to the challenges brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic that result in a shortened version of math and English language arts tests. The purpose of these assessments, just like the STAR test, is to track the student's progress meeting the California state standards so that Santa Rosa will be able to make informed decisions about curriculum, staffing, and resources to help our students learn. Let's hear from some amazing Santa Rosa teachers about how they use data from these assessments to help instruct students and create lesson plans. Hi, my name is Sophia Chapman. I teach 10th grade Blue Track English and I'm the English department chair this year. Um, the data that teachers receive from the SBAC test is very important and useful to the teachers. The English department, um, which consists of both middle school and high school English teachers, we meet twice a month to um, develop our curriculum and go over what we're going to, uh, or go over our plans. And part of that is utilizing data that we get from standardized tests such as the SBAC, the PSAT, and the um, STAR test. And the reason this is useful for us is because we want to try to strengthen the areas that the students need help with. So these objective tests help us to determine what those gaps in learning are so that we can try to enhance their learning experience. Hello Ranger families, I'm Mrs. Gideon and I'm privileged to be the Blue Track 8th grade science teacher. This year your 8th graders will be taking the California State Science Exam, CAS. This covers all the material learned from 6th through 8th grade using our NGSS Amplify curriculum. Not only the test data, but the three-week review we do prior to the exam shows me any holes and gaps in your students' understanding and what I can do to better prepare your students for this foundational knowledge they need for all of their future science classes in high school and college. Hello, now, I'm Chelsea Sanchez. I'm the fourth grade Blue Track teacher. And I was gonna to talk to you about how teachers use the data from state testing in our classrooms. We like to use it to see how students did in comparison to other children in their grade level. We also use it to create small groups with students that have the same abilities. And we can also use it kind of to look back and see has this child been struggling long term or are their struggles this year new. The state has also made some other important changes in the way the data from these assessments will be analyzed called the growth model. A growth model is a way of measuring the growth of student assessment scores year to year based on their statewide assessment scores in English language arts and math. Growth is different from achievement. Achievement such as a single assessment score shows us how much students know at the time of the assessment, whereas growth shows us how much students' scores grew from one grade to the next. This is a great visual that shows the difference between the way schools used to look at student results and how we will be looking at the results in the future. This new way of looking at student achievement will help Santa Rosa ensure students are making progress in their learning. Student participation in the end of the year assessments is very important to the overall operation of Santa Rosa Academy. The California State Dashboard displays the data for schools all over the state. It's vital that Santa Rosa has every student participate in these important assessments. If the, the state, state has created a very helpful website for parents to better understand student assessment scores. Please follow the link below for more information. We are confident that our Santa Rosa Rangers will do their very best on these assessments, and we look forward to using this valuable data to plan for the next school year. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. As always, thank you for your support.